You see, in America, you don't have to act like Jesus to be a successful pastor. I'm proof of that. You just have to be able to speak well, communicate well. You can be a good musician, and and you'll be a, a famous Christian musician. It has nothing to do with being like Jesus. But at the end of the day, we've got to change our idea of success. And what does it mean to be successful? Success is, man, here's success. is for one day someone to say, being with you, it felt like walking with Jesus. That's my goal in life. That's my desire in life. And if your desire is anything else, then we're missing it. How in the world did we get here? Where we have people who call themselves Christians and act nothing like Jesus. And we just say these weird things, oh, but they are in their heart. And they've memorized so much and they know so much. It's not what scripture says. It says when we know him, we'll we'll walk like him. We'll live like him. And people will hang out with us and go, wow, you're acting just like that Jesus. And this is what it would have felt like to walk with him. So what's the next step in my journey? I have no idea. I don't know what I'm going to do. But I'm, I'm very confident of who, what I want to be and what I want to be like and what form that takes. It really doesn't matter. I just want that. You know, and I want my life to be on a trajectory like that. And I, know, I don't think it's coincidental that I'm here tonight because I'm willing to bet that there's some of you in this room that it's time for a change. And maybe it's a change right where you are Change of your mindset, the way you're doing ministry. Maybe some of you, you're saying, man, I, I, don't know, I don't remember the last time someone left the church or my youth group going, wow, your Jesus is God. They've just been looking at all the physical human side of things rather than seeing the Holy Spirit actually work. And maybe it's because you haven't really surrendered your life and this desire to be this famous you know, Christian or to have this big church or this big following or whatever else. Jesus didn't have that. When I was in high school and I became a Christian, my first prayer was, God, don't let me lose my friends. I didn't want to be Jesus. I wanted to be a more popular version of Jesus. I did. Who wants to get spit on, rejected? I mean, the truth is, and and the nice thing was no one told me I needed to be like Jesus. As I read the scriptures, I go, no, he wasn't popular. The only people that were popular were the false prophets. And he says, woe to you when all men speak well of you, because that's why your fathers treated the false prophets. But blessed are you when they persecute you, when they insult you falsely on my name's sake. Great is your reward in heaven. The world hates you. Keep in mind, it hated me first. No servant's going to be better than his master. If they, if they persecuted me, they're going to persecute you also. And Jesus, that's why Paul says, look, I want to know Christ. I want to know the power of his resurrection and to share in the fellowship of his sufferings. Because I want to suffer like Jesus. I want to become like Jesus. And I guess my question for you tonight is, have you gotten off track? And has something else become the goal of your life? Or are you still at the very core of your being saying, make me like Jesus. Help me suffer what I need to suffer. Because I want to rise again like he rose again. I want to reign with him. I want to sit on the throne with him. So right now it's time for me to incarnate him and go and love and live this selfless life like Christ. 